Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to a 27 degree uh, Thursday, the 14th of March. Look at this, beautiful. It's supposed to be like 62 here today. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be like 70. And then it's supposed to be 70 um, through Saturday. Yeah, Friday through Monday or something like that. But the following weekend, the dad gum rain comes back, but I don't care. By then, it'll be spring, and you'll expect weird spring weather, but man, it's beautiful like this. It's 33 degrees now, it came up from 27, but anyway, <laughs> I feel that that work flu coming on. <laughs> Gotta go do it. All right, gotta pay the bills. 44 and total sunshine. Yeah, buddy. It's gonna be in the 60s here. Yeah. Van Chulo, too. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be real nice. It's gonna be nice for a while. Yeah. All we care is this weekend's gonna be nice. I'm happy about that. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, Mama, let's yeah. bust out a Thursday. All right. All right. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Alright. Alright. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. Today's the day. Getting all the steering parts put on this thing. Looks like I can get this thing. Get that uh, Pitman arm out without taking the tub and stuff off. Just sitting right there. We'll get it out. It's going to be tight. But even if I took the tub off, I still gotta contend with radiators and and um the battery and all that stuff in there. So this is the way I'm going at it. It's nice the fenders unplug now, where it was a harness went all the way into the main harness. I remember reading about that. That's really nice. Remember the caps that always came off? They don't come off no more. Always improving. You wanna see something cool? How did that happen? That's pure crazy. And there's no, no sign of damage anywhere. That thing would survive a proper train wreck, I'm telling you. That thing is stout, very stout. Put the Pitman arm in it, and it looks like it's just slightly, everything's slightly facing to the right. So you can see on the two arms, I got very little adjustment. I don't have much adjustment there. See how, see how, how few threads there are? So this one needs to go out to tow this in. And you can see how many more threads are over here. Well, this one needs to go in to tow out. So I've already written a BRP and told them that uh, I think it's all in the, in the steering stem, I mean the, the pitman arm. And um, see, I, I'm not like perfectly zero, but I'm zeroed enough and you can see towed in, towed out. I, I think Ultimately, what I think it was, was a bad part. Because there's no damage to that part whatsoever. But look at this. Let me grab my other phone here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, you can't see it probably. 61 degrees out here. That's nice. That's really nice. All right, back in my hole. Back to the dungeon. That is the sound of a rolling field. It's after work. That means this is the first after work ride of 2024. The dust on this thing. Oh, we were cutting some wood out there in the shop for mama and I didn't uh, blow it all off. How about this? And on the 350 Classic, no doubt. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Hot ziggity. <laughs> All right, let's 
do it. How's that for sun in your face? I don't mind. It's just the fact that it's sunshine out here. Not rainy, cloudy, or whatever. I put these gloves on and I forgot I bought a new set of 100%. So, done left without them. Didn't even think about it. Whew, we're out here. I'm just going to take a quick little neighborhood loop here. And just enjoy my first after work ride of the year. I still didn't kick them rear shocks up. I was thinking about how I was going to do it when I looped the chain. I pushed it out the door and I go, ah, I'll deal with it later. <laughs> Man, what a difference this thing feel. I, my um, kind of memory is the way it was. She's spunky, man. She just whizzes down the highway. It's fantastic. And I know Tracy. I know you're watching this thing. I almost get a comment from you every day. But I know you're watching. You've been around forever. Um, you, you need to hurry up and get that three fit this 350. Whatever color of your choosing. They are fantastic. He's riding something else right now and he's got his eyeballs peeled on a classic 350. Well worth the very reasonable <laughs> entry fee to buy one of these things. Especially if you just like this old school, just enjoy the ride. No high tech, nothing. I remember it wasn't too long ago that fuel injection was considered high tech. ABS was high tech. Now it's just a, it's all been simplified to a point that, oh, I smell race gas. The kid with that quad must say, oh, man, that smelled good. Mm. High tech yesterday, simplified, and very reliable today. Remember the old ABS? Oh man, that was the worst. Do the old triple pump to shut it off. <laughs> you did not want anything to do with that. Now you don't even know it's doing it other than the when it's going on, like you're in gravel or whatever, you hear the little the pulsing, you know. Such a lovely little hill there. Looks like Ireland out here with all that green grass. It'll stay that way for a while until, uh, until it dries out to a point that uh, it starts turning brown, you know. Look, you can see all the blooming going on in them trees. Beautiful pine trees jet flying overhead that's some cool stuff man I think that guy's like it's barely moving that's creepy no you guys probably can't see that at all <laughs> I mean literally like it's about to fall out of the sky so it looks like I'll get an alignment done on that sea to sky and I think it was somehow another mismanufactured. Somehow another, maybe when it's going, I don't know how it's all made, but somehow another, oh, look at all the water down in that. Those, those trees were cut. Somehow another, that thing got twisted. There's no damage to it. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe it was in a molten state or something. So it does look like the factory you know, it's probably robots and everything that they control all that stuff, and I, I, just, I just don't know. So I, I think a damaged part got installed, and how it it had to be because there's nothing on that thing that's acting on it. So I'm assuming somehow or another 
when it was in a molten state it just got dinged or mold got dried on them but faulty part nothing happened to the bike pretty bizarre though <laughs> I don't want to love too much on the tanks that I, well it's wood dust and it's not gonna do much damage I'll give her pats there you are <laughs> my clock is still set to daylight standard time you gotta switch her to the saving time I, all the any of the bikes that I adjust I just gotta go through with the keys and see which ones I, I didn't adjust back which is usually most of them but I, I know the road king and flirty got switched I don't think I've even ridden the slim since the time changed what the heck they logged all the trees out of there Is there no mercy for the trees? Oh man! Hmm. Or uh, this road might be. No, it looks dry. Got to do a turnaround. Look, look down the loop. A lot, of, a lot of water down there still in there. It's crazy how sharp this thing turns around. It is beautiful. Holy moly. The image is probably being completely washed out by the by the sun. Yeah, there's no place to walk in there anymore. Let's get you out here on the road and let you glisten in the sun for a second. I give you guys walk around and spiders and BMWs and stuff. Yeah, that gum non-canceling turn signals. But that's alright. That's old school. We like it. What a good old gal. Holy moly. Hmm. Sometimes you buy things and you just look and go, man, thank yourself for doing that, you know. <laughs> That's one of them sitting right yonder. Oh, she's pretty. Hmm. Crying shame they knocked all them trees down, though. There's some guy standing over there. Oh, it's a couple people. I think it's a couple walking. They're probably, what's the heck? guy on the motorcycle doing I'm admiring my motorcycle yeah that's sad the trees Ooh. see St. Helens if you can see that white just kind of in those trees right there she's sitting there and she just happily thumps along you're such a lovely motorcycle oh man you're the fuel pump whistling along underneath there very happily no feathering the throttle plate when you back off the gas you just you back off and it goes bah. oh there are motorcycles <laughs> no wonder they're eyeballing me looks like a Harley touring bike. That's a shame they cut all them trees down though. But that seems to be the norm nowadays. What an absolutely stunning evening. Check out the old one. Oh, man, look at St. Helens. And the brakes <laughs> things must have bedded in correctly or something because I mean they flat honker down 
Oh, look how much of that barn's breaking apart. I don't know if you guys, I'm not going to drive up close to it. The whole section, oh, whole big old chunk of the back. Ooh. All the windstorms and stuff must have been brutal to her. Hey, that's our street sweeper that goes around town. How about that? You know, even Superview, you got to see St. Helens. That's beautiful. The light's starting to turn a little gold on the mountain. I know you can't tell from here, but that's the hole that's facing north. You can see, not in the crater, but you can see where the crater's at. Lovely old thing. Hey, one of my dogs are out tonight. St. Helens is there. Look, you can actually see the shadow inside the bowl on the left side or the north side from us. Yeah, there's Mount Rainier. She's not getting quite as much sun, but she's hanging out. Look at the foothills there around Mount St. Helens. That's when you're going up Windy Ridge, going up to Mount St. Helens. Look at it, it's all just snow capped. Lovely. He's got him some mo pickles in here. Oh, look at that. They're already prepping those fields. Yeah. See some of the power line mountains back there still have some snow on them too. Wow. That's going to be a stunning view driving west. This little jaunt down the highways and the byways that just makes a bunch of wind noise in the helmet. Get the little woman, do ourselves a goodbye, finish our little projects, build a video, and start it all over tomorrow. Look at that though, man. I hope that's not getting blown out on the camera. That is some kind of beautiful. Holy moly. Great old farm fields out there. Life is good. Well, I think I'm going to conclude the ride portion of this. I still got to get her inside there and before I forget, adjust those, those shocks a notch. And uh, I'll see you with the little woman here in just a moment. Thanks for coming along. Well, hello there, you dude. It's only been about five or ten minutes. <laughs> Bike's still sitting out here, taking a cool off lap. And uh, Joe Kelly, don't let me forget the dress those shocks. Yes. They'll get carried away and walk He'll right forget. in. Yep. Like I've done the last two times I rode it. I get home and adjust them shocks. And get sidetracked. Yeah, thinking mm -hmm. about the vlog and videos and files and all that stuff and mine goes somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, on that, after first after work ride of 24. Nice, nice. Almighty, we're going to bid you adieu on that one. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Heck yeah. What is that, Sasha wrong right? Yeah. Yep. Like something's walking around me back there. All right. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. <laughs>